please don't yell at us. Yeah. Don't video TV. Uh, you have no room to yell at us. I want to speak to the fucking person who made this drink. Is that you? No, well, it wasn't We don't know me. who made it, so. You don't know who made it? There's four of us here, so we honestly don't know. Fucking oh, stupid, fucking ignorant high school kid. Okay, bye. I want to speak to the fucking Bye. Man. Okay, you can Jump call corporate whatever you want. Goodbye. Jam stop. You're on camera. You're on camera. You're on camera. No, I don't care. Give it to me right now. What? Where is he? Oh, 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 I'm calling the police. I'm calling the police. Fuck you. I want the fucking telephone. Get the fuck out. I want the telephone. Shut the fuck up. Get out. You can call corporate whatever you want. Bye. You're a fucking idiot. Okay, good for you. Bye. I want the fucking telephone. Bye. Shut up. You shut up. You're not gonna tell me to shut up. The fuck. Who are you? Who are you? Fucking immigrant loser. What? Fuck you. Get the, Get the fuck, fuck out. out. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. You're going to jail. You're going to jail. You racist piece of shit. Bro, call the police now. I want the telephone number. So look it up. I don't give a fuck what you want. Look it up if you want the telephone number. You can call right now if you want. I don't care. I don't care. Okay. Right. Like, fuck out of here. Respectfully, fuck out of here. You're bugging. Go off the door. You're bugging. Like, you're literally bugging. Yeah, I'm bugging. You're bugging. My fucking you do... son is almost in the okay, fucking hospital. Okay, that's not my fault. I have no fucking right to Why are you Please come over. 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 Please Drink at it. Okay. And he tried to break my phone. Yeah. Yeah, I can look it up. Your fucking telephone number is fucking busy. Okay, for you. Goodbye. Call it, give me your phone. Give me your phone. Give me your phone. Goodbye. You can get no, it. Right I don't have a phone number from Vanessa. Janet, okay. give me your phone. That, that's your way forever. Honestly, I really don't care. He's quite. No, don't. Call a Connecticut man has been charged with intimidation based on bigotry or bias, breach of peace and criminal trespassing after, authorities said, he hurled a drink and racist insults at employees in a local smoothie shop, whom he blamed for a serious allergic reaction that sent his son to the hospital. Fairfield police alleged that the man, James Ionazzo, 48, returned to Arobex Fresh Juices and Smoothies location Saturday after his son had an allergic reaction and berated staff members, demanding that they tell him who put peanut butter in the boy's drink. When employees could not provide Ionazzo with the answer, he became irate, yelling at the employees using a number of expletives, police said. He then threw a drink at an employee, which hit their right shoulder. Police also said Ionazzo made comments to an employee referencing their immigration status. Authorities said he continued to yell at the employees and tried to open a door to the Robex employee-only area after he was asked to leave multiple times. Ionazzo, who left the store before authorities could arrive, turned himself into police later. Video purporting to depict Ionazzo calling one of the employees an immigrant loser after he threw a drink was circulated on social media over the weekend. Asked to verify the video, Fairfield Police Sergeant Michael Stahl said it appeared to be a screen recording of a video of the event. As it is not the original, we cannot comment on the authenticity of it and cannot guarantee it has not been altered or edited in any way, Stahl said Sunday. Ionazzo's attorney, Frank Riccio, said in a statement Sunday morning that Ionazzo wholeheartedly regrets the incident. Riccio added that Ionazzo stressed to staff members that his drink should not contain peanut butter because his son had a life-threatening allergy. When faced with a dire situation for his son, Mr. Ionazzo's parental instinct kicked in and he acted out of anger and fear, Riccio said. He is not a racist individual and deeply regrets his statements and actions during a moment of extreme emotional stress. Employees told police that Ionazzo did ask for his drink to be made without peanut butter, but made no mention of an allergy. Merrill Lynch confirmed that Ionazzo no longer works as a financial advisor with the company after the incident. Our company does not tolerate behavior of this kind, the company said in a statement Sunday. We immediately investigated and have taken action. This individual is no longer employed at our firm.